Now, thousands of ventilators for coronavirus patients are likely to be made at the Dyson factory in Wiltshire. The company says it's been working round the clock to get the machines into production to help the NHS deal with this uh, awful crisis. Andrew Plant is outside their factory in Halavington for us now. Andrew. Yeah, David, the numbers for the NHS just didn't add up, did they? We're told they had about 6,000 ventilators available across the UK at the beginning of this crisis, but the modelling showed they might need up to 30,000. And they couldn't just go and order them from a catalogue, particularly when the rest of the planet is trying to do the same. So it fell to private companies to step into the breach, and now it looks as though Dyson, based here in the Wiltshire countryside, could be the first company to start supplying our hospitals with the ventilators they need. In their former World War II hangars in the Wiltshire countryside once used to make parachutes, now set to manufacture life-saving equipment of a different kind. Better known for vacuum cleaners, table fans and hair dryers, but they are no strangers to airflow. Dyson engineers here now turning their skills to breathing instead. This is what the ventilators will look like. If the prototype is approved, we'll soon see thousands in action. The, the requirements for coronavirus are much more straightforward. You could have a very simplified ventilator that will still do the job that we need in intensive care for coronavirus. So what lots and lots of companies are doing, including Dyson, including OxDevice, who I'm working with, is designing, if you like, the minimum viable product, which means that you can then test them more quickly and get them, get them into the hospitals more quickly. These fast-track designs, far simpler than a normal ventilator, made with fighting just a single disease in mind. Necessity is the mother of invention. and The capacity that we've probably got now is the capacity we're going to have over the next couple of weeks. And what will happen is that capacity will build up over time. Uh, and we just need to recognise that every country in the world is now trying to chase ventilators. So although we've got significant amounts of extra, they're likely to take some time to come through. Sir James Dyson said in a statement it is designed to address the specific clinical needs of COVID-19 patients. The race is now on to get it into production. We have received an initial order of 10,000 units from the UK government. We are also looking at ways of making it available internationally. It's thought the UK will need more than 30,000 ventilators to cope with the peak of the coronavirus crisis. Andrew Plant, BBC Points West in Wiltshire. Well, everyone's putting together, it seems, 